Hello, 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 and welcome to Beverly's Kitchen. It is me. My name is Beverly Lucas, and I am the host of For the Love of Cooking Fridays. What do we do on Fridays? I try to show you how to create a meal in your kitchen from scratch that is always better than the restaurant. Always better than the restaurant. What are we going to make today? Hmm, let me think about it. Today we are going to make grilled chicken alfredo with Brussels sprouts. Yes, grilled chicken alfredo with Brussels sprouts. So I have my cast iron grill. I have my chicken ready to go. I have my Brussels sprouts, which I will admit to you, I have never ever made before. I don't even know if I like them. I think I've tasted them one time and I didn't, but since that's the new thing, I said, well, why don't we just try it? Why don't we just try it? So we're gonna try some um, Brussels sprouts and come along with me and let's get started. Okay, so what ingredients do we need today? So I have some um, chicken breasts. I have two chicken breasts. I'm only making a serving for four. So two servings a piece. We have a pasta called Malfadine pasta. It's something that um, I had in my pantry and it's kind of sort of like a fettuccine noodle, but it has ridges on the side. So that's what we're going to be using instead of fettuccine. For the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to use like my own recipe. I'm going to cook the Brussels sprouts a little bit like how I would cook um, cabbage, except I'm going to roast them in the oven. So I have my Brussels sprouts. I have some butter. I have some bacon and I will use a little bit of sugar. Um, I'll chop up some onions and some peppers and we're just gonna roast it in the oven um, like that and see how that's gonna turn out to be. You with me? Follow me. Okay, so I have my chicken breast here and it has been marinated in some teriyaki sauce. Um, there's different brands of teriyaki sauce. And what I'm doing is I am cutting them in half. There's one. I'm going to be careful not to cut your fingers. And there's two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it, have some salt. some pepper and a little bit of paprika well not a little bit a generous amount of paprika gives it a little kick to it and some onion powder oh that's coming out fast and you want to make sure that you um, season both sides and don't be afraid, don't be afraid because spices or seasonings like garlic powder, it's just the powder. So it's not gonna make it salty or anything like that. It's just gonna give it more flavor. I was gonna add onion powder, but my onion powder is gone because I use seasoning so much. There's my paprika. And then again, salt and pepper. Now I have the grill going. To the grill, I've added some olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil. And once it gets hot, I'm gonna add some butter. And that's how I'm going to grill the chicken. So what I'm gonna get started on now while we're waiting for the grill to warm up, I'm just gonna put this aside. And I'm going to get my bacon. And I think about three slices will be good. Bacon is so expensive now. I don't know if you've been to the grocery store. Um, I found bacon the other day on sale for $5.99 a pack. And it had been $8.99. So, you know I bought it up, right? I'm gonna cut my bacon into bite-sized chunks. Oh, these are a little big. 
before I even put it in the fryer. Or the frying pan, I should say. And I'm gonna keep all this fat because that's gonna give the Brussels sprouts some flavor. So I'm gonna move that to the side. Then I'm gonna take my Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna cut off the edges. And I'm gonna remove just the leaves around it. Just a few leaves, so it should look like that. I don't know why. I haven't liked Brussels sprouts or I haven't tried Brussels sprouts, but it just kept popping up in my social media. So I said, why don't I give it a try? And instead of following somebody else's recipe, let me just come up with my own. So you are a witness to it. Okay, I'm thinking now, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, bacon on. Okay, so I place the butter. And I'm just spreading it around. It's hot. <laughs> And now I'm just going to lay the chicken down. And that's how you want it. You want it sizzling like this. So you can get some nice char marks on the chicken. Bacon is also done. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to cut up a small onion and some peppers and I'm going to saute it in this bacon fat. So the chicken looks beautiful. Just gonna turn it one more time. And it's dark of course because of the teriyaki sauce, but it just gives it a really, really good flavor. And we don't want it to be dry, so I've only been cooking it maybe about I don't know, 10, 10 minutes, and I'm gonna take it off and get it sliced up. Okay, so the bacon is cooked and all rendered down and all the fat and goodness is in the pan. And I have cut up just a piece of some red onion that I had, and then I have some banana peppers. You can use any type of peppers that you want. These are just two banana peppers from my own garden. I'm so proud of that. I'm going to place these in, um, the pot and let them just saute before I add the Brussels sprouts. Okay, so I have this mixture going. So I have the onions and the peppers sauteing. And to that, I'm going to add the Brussels sprouts. I have preheated my oven. No, I have not. Let me preheat my oven to 375. So I'm adding the Brussels sprouts. And also next here, I have my uh, water for the pasta. And to this, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Some pepper. And some garlic powder. And I'm also going to add a tablespoon of butter. So I added about a half a teaspoon of sugar and just a pinch of some red pepper. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken the Brussels sprouts um, from the stove and now I'm gonna put it in, into the oven. I have preheated the oven at 375 and we're gonna let them cook for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to take a look at them. Even though I've never made them before and I don't know how they're supposed to look or how they're supposed to taste, but I'm a cook. So I told myself, Beverly, we can do this.
So my chicken is all done. It's all grilled and I have um, sliced it up. So now what we're going to work on is our Alfredo sauce. So I already have my water going for the pasta. You always want to remember when you cook pasta, you have to salt the pasta water. It should taste like the sea. So never think you're putting too much salt in it because that's what gives the pasta its, its, its taste. Cook this pasta for about seven minutes and I'm going to set my timer and we'll take it from there. Okay, we're about to make the Alfredo sauce. So what I have is a half a stick of butter. And I have my um, temperature on low medium. I have a cup of, so it's a half a stick of butter. I have a cup of Parmesan cheese and I'm about to pour a cup of the heavy cream. I have the cup of cream to the butter and I am gonna add a little pepper. And we're gonna wait for that to boil, then we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese. Okay, so the mixture now is boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add, we're gonna start with one cup of cheese. The pasta is still cooking, I thought seven minutes. And there goes the timer. But that is not enough time, so I've given it some more time. And I can already see that this is not gonna be enough cheese, so I'm gonna get another cup of cheese to add. So I've added about another half a cup of cheese and I have turned the heat off and I'm gonna slowly let the Parmesan melt and the pasta should be done. So I am going to drain the pasta. I'm gonna keep a little bit of the pasta water just in case this is too thick. I wanna be able to add some of the pasta water. It looks absolutely delicious. Okay, so the pasta is al dente, which means it's not completely done. I said I was gonna rinse it off, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to transfer it into the Alfredo sauce, like this. And you don't wanna cook it too much because it continues to cook. Since I didn't rinse it off in cool water, it's gonna to continue to cook. And now we're gonna to toss it and then we're going to add the chicken. That's just all deliciousness. Absolutely delicious. Okay, I have tossed the pasta in the sauce and now I am transferring it to the bowl. Look at that. Absolute deliciousness, creaminess. And now I'm going to add our grilled chicken. We're just gonna put it right on top. nice and juicy mm -hmm. into that we're going to top it off with some fresh parsley that is delicious trust me it is better than the restaurant okay so our meal is complete so what did we cook today in beverly's kitchen we have our alfredo pasta with grilled chicken that was marinated in teriyaki sauce. And we have our Brussels sprouts. And what I did was I added the bacon back in there. Can you see that? So delicious. I added a little bit more salt. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. You have to try this recipe, delicious. And if you try this recipe, do me a favor. Why don't you just send me a picture, send me a note to let me know that you're following me, that you're watching, and that you are learning how to have the love for cooking. Thank you again. This is Beverly Lucas, and I'm signing off till next week.